So now I'm going to tackle case 3. Now in case 3, this is only for advanced. So if you're a regular student, uh, you can uh, pause the video, leave. Thank you for watching. But if you're an advanced student and if you also want to learn something new, something extra in physics, then I suggest you stay on. Okay? So for case 3, an object is thrown downward. Okay? Bob throws a water bomb towards his unsuspecting friend below with an initial downward velocity of 4.0 meters per second. If it lands 2.0 seconds later, determine the height at which he dropped the water bomb. Okay? So if we were to draw this, so it's an initial downward velocity of 4.0 meters per second. But we know that it's going down initially, so that's negative 4.0 meters per second. Okay? We know that it takes a time of 2.0 seconds for it to reach the ground. And we know that we are looking for the height. So the height is delta y. Okay? What else do we know? Well, the only assumption that we can make here would be that acceleration is equal to negative g is equal to negative 9.8. So if an object is thrown downward, you can't really make much assumptions out of it. But you know that it is gravity. Gravity will always act on it. So it already has a negative initial velocity and a negative acceleration. So that means it will go really, really fast. And that's very appropriate if you're trying to throw a water bomb towards a friend below, which I hope that you don't have in mind. So this is given and required. What equation can we then use that covers all of these? Well, let's look at our equation list again. So we're looking at VI, sorry, VI, T, delta Y, and A. All of these are encompassed with the second equation. So let's try that. Delta Y is equal to VIT plus one half AT squared. Okay? So we're looking for delta y, so we don't really need to rearrange it too much. We just need to plug in the values. So for our solution, let's uh, get some space. Delta y is equal to, okay, what's vi? Vi is negative 4.0 meters per second. What's time? Time is 2.0 seconds, okay, plus 1 half. What's a? A is negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay, what is time? Time is 2.0 second. And don't forget the square at the end. Some people forget that when they use their kinematic equations. Okay, so let's check for units. So in this part, the seconds will cancel out. Fair enough. In this part, this is second squared. This is second squared, so it's going to be meters. Meter plus meter gives you meters, which is consistent with delta y. So now, let's try to solve. So that's going to be negative 4 times 2 plus 1 half, sorry, 1 half times negative 9.8 times 2 squared. Excuse me. So if we get the equals out, this will be equal to negative 27.6. Okay? So delta y is equal to negative 27.6 meters, okay? Now let's check for a significant figure. So we have two sig figs all the way. So therefore, when we present our final answer, it should also reflect that, okay? So that's gonna be 28 meters. However, we are being asked for what? We're being asked for the height. Remember, height is a dimension. It is a scalar quantity. And therefore, this must be positive. Okay, it's negative because you're going at the negative direction. However, if we get the height of this, it should be positive. So the answer would be that the height of the building where you dropped it is 28 meters. Okay, so those are your three cases of free fall. Case one is when you just drop an object. That means that initial velocity is equal to zero. Case two would be that you drop, you throw your object upward, meaning that your final velocity will be equal to zero. And finally, case three, when you throw an object downward, there's no assumption here. 
but you know that it's a negative velocity and a negative acceleration, it's going to go really, really fast. Okay, so thank you for watching this uh, video. I hope you learned something for today, and I look forward to discussing this with you in our classroom. Take care.